My name is Tom Banaszewski. I was told by my junior high gym teacher that it's pronounced Banaszewski in Polish. What a jerk that guy was, telling me how to pronounce my own name. But the truth was, he was the first person to teach me anything about my background, other than the collection of Polish jokes a friend had given me as a birthday present. I knew nothing about my last name. I'm 37 years old. I had lived my whole life in the United States until moving to Shanghai last year. For the last 15 years, I've been an elementary and middle school teacher and loved every minute of it. One day I'll never forget was during a small reading group discussion about a book on immigration that got the students asking that question. They turned to each other and casually asked, So what are you? Jessica said to Sarah, You're Jewish, aren't you? Jimmy volunteered that he was half Irish, a part Italian, and a little bit Czechoslovakian. They continued their own conversations, noticing that Jessica, who had just left the group, was whispering in my ear, Mr. B, what am I? What do you mean? Well, I know I'm Japanese from my mom's side, but my dad's dad died before he could find out. I encouraged Jessica to talk to her parents who at the last conference appeared to have Asian, Hispanic, and African heritage. But of course I wasn't about to interfere in how Jessica would identify herself. That would be her journey. My parents were not immigrants. Neither were most of my grandparents. My father's grandparents, Joseph John Banaszewski and Mary Filarecki, left Plock, Poland in 1898 to avoid the Russian army requirement that Polish men serve two years in the Red Army. Poles were always sent to Siberia and often lost fingers and toes to the extreme cold. My father grew up in a house where eating kielbasa and pierogies at Christmas was the only reminder of his Polish heritage. His mother, an Irish immigrant who left County Cork at the turn of the century, brought only her fervent devotion to the Roman Catholic Church with her. My mother grew up in an industrious house, but it was void of ethnic and religious definition. She knew nothing of her German ancestors and cared even less, even though her grandmother lived four blocks away while growing up. So naturally, I grew up in a house where my parents never talked about culture, ethnicity, or anything to do with our background. They passed away before I could ask, where are we from? Along with many other questions. My culture is a culture of loss, which is why I don't allow people to call me Mr. B. I can control that part of my heritage. I don't speak a word of Polish. Eating pierogies and smoked kielbasa at Christmas is as close as I come to my Polish roots. But I don't want to lose my only link to my past just because someone struggles to pronounce my last name. It's been working with my new students. They see me in the halls of the school and stop to show me that they can pronounce my last name. But I still overhear the younger kids asking each other, So, what are you? And each time there's a kid who has that lost look of not knowing what is being asked of him. I hope that Jessica has also found that at some point you choose how important your background is to you and you decide how many questions you want to ask.